Recording in progress. So go to chapter 34. Chapter 34. Relationships between objectives and policies. When we talk about objectives, objectives are plans on what you want to achieve. So yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna link it to government. Object, government objectives are what government wants to achieve. Set of plans on what government wants to achieve over a period of time. That is objective. Then when we talk about policies, these are guidelines that they will use in the course of conducting their operations. So these are policies. These are tools government would use to achieve those objectives. Do you get it? There's objective to be achieved, right? Yes. So we want to achieve this. But to achieve these things, we need some guidelines. We need some guidelines to conduct, to put things in shape, to put things in order. So these are what we call instruments. Yeah. Policy instruments like tools. So let's go down anyway to see. <laughs> Impact of policy measures, right? on macroeconomic objectives. We know what macroeconomic objective is, right? And we know what macroeconomic is. Macroeconomic is the, stu macroeconomic is the study of the economy as a whole. And when we talk about macroeconomic objectives, we're talking about government objectives for, for an economy, like economic growth, increase, or reducing unemployment rates, stabilizing uh, prices, as reducing inflation. Um, what helps there? In reducing inflation, economic growth, um, yeah. Reducing unemployment too, and making sure that the balance of payments is also stable, not like going into deficit, improving the balance of payments, current account. So these are all macroeconomic objectives. Are you with me? Yes. So for government to be able to achieve all these macroeconomic objectives, government needs some instruments, which would be what we call policy. I think the point is clear now. Yes. So government use policy instruments to achieve their macroeconomic objectives. These policies used, this, the policies used will depend on the economic circumstances at, this, at that time. The policies should use, okay, ideally, a government would want to promote economic growth, keep inflation and unemployment down, prevent large deficits on the current account, and protect the environment. These are all macroeconomic objectives, right? Yes. So the use of fiscal policy, monetary policy, and supply side measures will have an impact on economic variables, such as inflation and economic growth. However, because there are both positive and negative effects of using different policies, it is often difficult for the government to achieve its macroeconomic objectives. For example, the use of contractional fiscal policy to reduce inflation in the economy may increase unemployment. If the government cuts expenditure on social care, for example, fewer social workers will be required. This suggests that government may have to accept trade-offs between macroeconomic objectives. So, for example, government may have to tolerate high levels of inflation if it wants lower levels of unemployment. So, all these government macroeconomic objectives, have, they have trade-offs. In the course of government trying to achieve one, might mean that the second one will not be achievable. So they are making, for example, inflation and unemployment. If there is inflation in the economy, to reduce inflation, you need unemployment. To reduce inflation? To reduce inflation, you might need unemployment. So that means government would encourage unemployment to reduce inflation. Because inflation represents increase in aggregate demand. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So if there's increase in aggreg aggregate demand within the economy, what it, does it bring about? It brings about inflation. And increase in aggregate demand is because there's income increasing within the economy through employment. So people will stop buying if they are unemployed. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's a direct relationship between employment and unemployment and inflation. inflation. Do you get it? So unemployment has to reduce. Because they're being turned down, the, they won't have as, and their income won't be as much as they used to be when they were in employment. Yes, so, so they, as a result of that, inflation rate would fall. Demand pull inflation would reduce. Yeah, they will be forced to stop purchasing. Purchasing. Do you get it? Yes. So basically, government need tools like fiscal policy, monetary policy, supply side policy to achieve its objectives. I think the impact of policy measures on macroeconomic is clear. Clear. Okay, so we'll go down. So unemployment and inflation now. 